see where's my where's my nita my nita is here and are you here here yes we can hear you yay <laughs> can you hear me can you hear me now yep i can hear you now i can hear you now <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody um Oh my goodness. I'm I'm so happy to see all you guys. I'm going to start with the people I'm seeing. Uh, hi, Dawn. Nancy's here. Netta is here. Miss Kathy's Quilts and Crafts is here. Um, we have Mary is here. And D, Gal D Gallman. I don't think I've seen your name before, sweetie. Are you new? Um, maybe I just haven't seen it because I'm not always looking straight at the comments. We have Shelly Clark. Nancy Guess is here. Um, yeah, so we're ready to go. Uh, oh, Gia's here. Hey, Gia. Ray Jean is here. Joyce, Barbara Baker. Um, and now, you guys, I have, I didn't think it was working, but I have this new little bot, and it's going to show my face, and, like, I'm saying stuff, um, and it's going to tell you guys, hey, you advanced to level one, blah, blah, blah. It's going to think everybody is new right now. <laughs> <laughs> and um so it's gonna say you're on level one you know and it, it's just supposed to be something fun so eventually it will know who you are and and then coming forward it will tell us who the real newbies are right <laughs> so we can welcome everybody and and do all of that stuff so hopefully it's gonna do that um and i'm gonna set it up for some fun stuff and everything right now it's just very simple it's just gonna like say little things to you but we're gonna have some yes that's what that's about linda so <laughs> we'll have some fun <laughs> with it later on as soon as i have time to work with it figure out what it does and and add some cool fun stuff to it so that's what that is um heather is here cheryl is here uh sherry's here <laughs> <laughs> Sherry Guy, are you just advanced level one? <laughs> I don't have no idea what GZ is. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I wish it was go past go and collect two hundred dollars because I would be ready for that. Um, yes, everybody's gonna be on level one tonight. Hi, Christine. Uh, we have Donna here, and um, yeah. So, Nita, how you doing today, Honey Bun? Whew, I'm doing. I, I made it out of work earlier than I expected, but I'm doing pretty good. Uh, can't say as I'm doing too bad. I'm freezing, but I have a nice warm blanket to keep me warm. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out. I was, out with I was the shopping in event shop, too. I was, like, shopping before the live. It's so funny. She's sitting there, and she's going, oh, this is so cute. I'm like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey Robbie, like, here. Diana is here. <laughs> and Nita, uh, Nita won't be talking to any of us. She's just gonna be shopping the whole time. Um <laughs> <laughs> No. 
I'll try uh, not to. So Kathy says, are you totally closing up your shop or just downsizing to something more manageable? Yes, Kathy, the latter. Um, I am trying to downsize it a lot <laughs> because long story short, it's just, it's what I thought was going to make me happy, but it's not. And so no worries. I'm just going to downsize it and I'm going to spend more time in the future um, designing, teaching, tutorials on YouTube, stuff like that. Things that I would prefer to be doing. So as soon as I get that done, um, and it's going to take a while because, um, you know, we have to order fabric really far in advance. And so I'm still, I still have fabric coming. And plus with all the delays and everything, I'm probably looking until like March or April for like the excessive things that I purchased. Um, I'm still going to be buying fabric. I'm just going to buy very limited and specific fabric. So, um, you know, things from my project boxes coming up, um, things that'll work really well with foundation paper piecing, which is my focus and stuff like that. Somehow Netta advanced to level two. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Um, okay, Diana says, can you explain what Quilty Stash Cash is? So Diana, basically what that is, is it's a rewards program for um, loyal customers. So for every dollar that you spend, you get a dollar of Quilty Stash Cash that you can use toward a uh, future purchase in my shop. So that's basically what it is. It's like loyalty dollars. <coughs> It's free money. Um, what's that? It's it's free money. Yeah, it's free money is what it is. <laughs> it's free money. Isn't that what we call money? I said no, that's my grocery money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Dawn has it right. It says keep commenting so you level up. I think that's probably what it is, is that you the more you comment, you level. So that must be what it is. Um Sherry wants to know what you're shopping for, Nita. I saw that. I'm just, I, I'm, look, I'm just shopping. I'm shopping for, for projects I have lined up. So I was like looking for certain colors or, or prints or something. You know, I got to line up what I'm looking, what I'm sewing. Yeah. I mean, plus it's, this is the time to do it. You know, I mean, I have it, I'm practically yeah. giving it away. <laughs> and I see I don't I don't have any I don't have any like stash to really work from right so right I buy you're in I that mean my stash is, I yeah uh, yeah my stash is kind of unaccessible I can't get to it right right so, so now I can hey you know a, a girl's got to buy fabric somewhere right <laughs> I still buy fabric. <laughs> I have a shop and I buy fabric. Are you kidding? Because <laughs> I don't have, you know, I don't have uh, accounts everywhere. So, um, <laughs> so the, if I find something I like and I'm not, you know, I don't have an account there. I don't go and start an account. I just buy from somebody else. So yeah, I get it. Um, Sherry I, says, planning. What's that like? Uh, right. <laughs> Right. That's all y'all were doing all weekend. <laughs> um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, poopy do. There was something I was going to say. You know how that goes. Yeah. You, well, you, you still I, buy fabric. Yes. Fabric. It's all about the fabric. Anyway, I don't know. It'll come to me later. Object uh, box. <laughs> no, just give me your hard time. Uh, Donna, yes, I do have thread as well. Now, I will tell you guys that what I'm planning to do is I will continue to carry, like I said, certain things. Um, I will continue to carry thread and uh, machine needles, um, rotary cutters and blades, just, you know, all of those kinds of things. But what might happen is I might get to the point where everything sells out and then once i get down to where i need it to be then i'll start to restock because 
I mean, if I'm if I'm being honest, it's kind of silly for me to keep restocking and selling everything at forty percent off, um, because nobody's in the quilt shop business to not make money. Um, now, unfortunately, it really doesn't make that much money, but I, you know, I I, I will have discounted prices, but not forty percent. So. Um, Hopefully, you know, you guys will help me to uh, sort of downsize quite a bit. And then after that, I'll, um, you know, I'll keep you guys reeled in by just giving good prices because I'm not going to, you know, I, I think that I always had good prices. There's just a lot of competition. It's not, um, you know, I mean, there's just so much competition out there and the way that everything happened with the pandemic um, just ended up kind of kicking me into booty. So no problem. I'm just going to move forward. I'm looking this way. <laughs> and um, yeah, so. Okay. So he wants to know what is your favorite fabric? Oh, really guys? Do you have a favorite fabric? I That's such a hard question. Um, I like, I like Liliella. Um, oh, no, I'm Layla Boutique. Sorry. I'm, I was just talking to um, Nita about Liliella Stitchery. Different situation. Right. There. Um, <laughs> so Layla Boutique, I love her older stuff from like two, three, four years ago. The stuff that she has right now with like the rust and the like muddy blue that's not really my thing, but I love her um, fabrics from before, like um, Farmer's Daughter, Nest, um, just all of those around that time. I love all of those. Um, I love uh, Tula Pink, especially all her basics, like the Unicorn Poop and the Dragon's Breath. I really love them. Like when you see them in person, you put them up to each other. They're just gorgeous. Um, and her, like her Hexies and stuff like that. I really like. Um, Delmarie, I, I already, ha I have Carolina Lily. I have, I think I have Ooh. like five bolts that are coming. I think it's the large flowers. I don't remember anymore because I ordered it so long ago. Um, but most of the pre-cuts I've already sold out of. So <laughs> if you're I'm interested, very, let's go see if I got it there. Sherry <laughs> Geyer has decided that GZ is shorthand for Gadzooks. Okay. <laughs> she says, doesn't that sound fun? Gadzooks. <laughs> I'm going to tell everyone it's Gat Dukes. <laughs> Diane Martin Walter is here. Hi, Diane. I don't feel like I've seen you in forever. You probably have been on, and I just haven't been looking at the chat when you came in. So I got to see your name and your pretty little face right there. Oh, Steph's okay, so here. Hey, Steph. Apparently, Steph has the flu. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. You didn't tell me. Steph's been on a vacation with her family. Um, so they went away for a long weekend. And so I haven't actually talked to her in like probably 400 years. <laughs> Hi, Mary Woods. Okay. Carrie says, I feel like it's Mario. Where's the princess at the end of the level? <laughs> Look, that got you to level two, Carrie. <laughs> oh no, Diane's been sick too. Oh no. Well, I hope all of you guys are feeling better. It sucks to be sick. And look, Sherry was sick, too. Um, Kathy says she's a unicorn oh, fanatic. She loves unicorns, and her collection is growing. At least I think that's what she said, because the, the comments are going up so fast, I can't even keep up with it. <laughs> oh, Laurie just said her grandson is doing better. Yes, that's awesome to hear. I was, I saw that. I was like, oh my goodness, yay. Very that's, happy. That's good news, yes. Very, very happy. Robbie Harrell wanted to know, what are the level stuff about? The more you, the more you um, chat and respond in the, in the chat, the more you, you actually post in the chat, the higher up in the levels you go. What it is, is a bot is, is actually starting to, 
find out who comes all the time and who only comes once or who might be new so that she can keep better track of all of these people. Cause you know, she got a lot of people. <laughs> She's got lots of peeps. Yeah. And what it, what it really means right now, I haven't the slightest idea. We're just going to say, you know, everybody who's on like keeps getting leveling up. We like them people. We like them. Yeah. Comment. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll figure out what it means. I, I just barely got the bot. And so I need to go and like do a little research or I can have my assistant go and do a little research. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so I'll figure it out and then, and we'll have fun with it. So every week I'll, I'll tell you guys what's new and, um, and we'll see how it goes. So, okay, guys, I, this is, this is par for the course. I cannot find my project. It is <laughs> somewhere in here. I am still working on cleaning up, and but I'm at the part right now where I'm getting to all of the different projects, and they're like all over the place, right? So, um, I really need to. I'm, I'm waiting on my like project boxes, bags, that kind of stuff that I ordered, so that I can organize everything. And as soon as I got that, um, then I'll be able to start putting everything into the containers and then I'll, I'll have everything sorted out. So right now there's just, there's just a little bit left to do. And I just have a little, I'm in like kind of a holding period right now. So, but I have no idea where the project from last week is. No clue. So right now I have <laughs> the um, coral reef that I've been working on. That's the one for my class. This is another Judy Niemeyer project. And let me, I have the picture of it. Hold up, one sec. I can show you what it is. Okay, so when you go into Quiltster, you can design um, your own quilt with all of your own fabrics and stuff like that. So this is it. Um, and this is the colorway that I put together. And so this is the one that I'm doing for class. This is not the one, this is not Mooncatcher, which is what I'm normally working on on Wednesday. Um, but right now I have two Judy Niemeyer projects going at the same time. So don't ask. Um, <laughs> So this, so I'm going to kind of work on this one a little bit tonight and you can kind of see me. I'm still going to be doing uh, FPP, same thing. Um, and so I'm going to get started on that. Let me uh, switch this over. Okay. Oops. Let me turn that off. Boop. Okay. And then you'll have need uh watching out for the comments and stuff like that while you watch me so <laughs> that's what i'm here for what you're here for i know i know and you're very good at it <laughs> uh, i don't know about that well i do i did see, i did see a TikTok that that runs words past you one word at a time and it shows you you can read it 500 to 600 words a minute wow not even that's that's pretty amazeball. Robbie Harrell says that her son and daughter-in-law have COVID. Um, we'll be we'll be sending prayers your way, Robbie. We def definitely send them prayers your way. Definitely. Yeah, I have some people at work who have been sick, and um, you know, I don't know. Some of you guys know. Last week we were doing inventory, um, and so. My boss had COVID <laughs> or whatever. Um, she, first, she didn't think she had COVID. She thought that she just had a cold or a flu or, you know, whatever. And then, you know, then we find out that she's got COVID. But here we are doing uh, inventory. So she comes in with, you know, she's wearing three masks and she keeps her door shut and you know all this kind of stuff and i'm going i you know i sit right across from her can i have a vote i'm like <laughs> i made sure that i kept my mask on and everything else but it was like really 
<laughs> and now the other manager thinks she might have COVID. She's staying home, though. So, I don't know. Okay, so uh, Teresa wants to know if you have any mystery boxes. Okay, it is going to be a long time before I have more mystery boxes, guys. I just went through like 50 mystery boxes. And um, right now, with the sale that's going on, not only am I not going to have time to put together any mystery boxes, but, um, you know, the turnaround time for me to get orders out is going to be... A heck of a lot longer than one or two days. I just want to warn you guys now because it's just me and I work full time. So <laughs> I get home and other than tonight, because tonight I have the live, um, but I get home and I do nothing but pack boxes until about one o'clock in the morning. So um, I'm going to get them out as fast as I can, but I'm getting like very large orders and I have a lot of orders. So thank you very much. I so appreciate each and every one of you guys. I really do. And I'm going to do my best to get your orders out as fast as humanly possible, but it's definitely not going to be a day. <laughs> well, th that answers that. And then there was <laughs> Carrie. I think uh, Carrie was saying that she loves this quilt, but she likes watching you sew, but she is intimidated by FPP. Oh, my suggestion was that she join piecing it real because yes. your videos that show how to do FPP are absolutely fabulous. Yes. Yes. I, I, I mean, you know, of course I'm going to, toot my own horn, but I feel like I'm a pretty good teacher. Um, I teach every single step of the way. I don't take you from point A all the way clear to point M without showing you everything in between. Um, it's only 20 bucks a month. Come on over. It's learn at your own pace. Not only that, but throughout the whole thing, we've got this great community of uh, quilters who love FPP. And we've started this new program where I'm doing a block of the month and I'm writing, you know, uh, simple patterns for us to do. Even if you're at the beginning, you can come, you can ask questions, you can watch everything. Um, and it's, I guarantee you can do it. <laughs> Barbara Mediachi says, wow, my order is already on the way. Yep, she's pretty quick, but when there are so a big volume of orders that kind of slows down, but I've never had to wait. Even when she's had lots of them, I've never had to wait very long. Yeah, that's very good about getting out the orders pretty quick. Well, Barbara was one of the very first orders um, before the huge influx of orders came in. So, Barbara, you just happened to order at a great time. Not that I'm not going to try really hard to get everyone's orders out quick, but you ordered like at the beginning of the, you know, the stampede to the to the shop. So, <laughs> and Linda Parsons says if she can do it, so can others. Oh, that's, yes. I mean, honestly, um, Linda does a great job and she's the one thing I love about Linda is she didn't, she never gave up. She sat down, she did the first project. She did the second project. She did the third project. If something got messed up, that's all right. She did the, that project over again and she was just dedicated. Um, and really you just have to want to do it. Uh, I mean, it took me like a year and a half teaching myself to, to get good at it. And, um, you know, all I can say is if it's something you really want, just don't give up. And at least in, in piecing it real, you're going to have everything you need in one spot. You don't have to go searching all over the internet. How do I do this? How do I do that? It's all in one spot. I give you all of my tips and it, it's it's really 
and it's a lot of fun doing the the calls on Monday night every other Monday we have a zoom call where we all get together and we sew together and we laugh and talk and we're just like a family we really are at this point and I, I just I can't say enough good things about our group and I think that you would love it you know come give it a try you uh, do it for one month and it's not for you then just you can cancel cancel anytime it's month to month right. you're not signing everyone up wants whole year everyone wants to know how much is the subscription every month it's twenty dollars twenty dollars a month yes yep and well worth it lots of people lots of the people who are in piecing it real they're very they they've been popping in saying how much they enjoy the zoom calls and how much they enjoy the tutorials it's really a great community of people and if you are ever um even the slightest bit intimidated by by foundation paper piecing that is definitely the place to go because even if Yvette isn't uh, there to help you immediately there are always ladies willing to answer questions in the facebook group yep. and there's there's always someone to help always someone to give you a tip Yes, and we have a new community manager, and it is Netta. You can see her in the in the chat right now, um, and she has been very beneficial to me. Of uh, people are asking questions, she's able to answer like almost immediately. So, um, if I'm not there, like Nita said, um, there's always someone there to help you, and it, it's it's just wonderful. It really is. Georgia Shun Sunshine, she just came in. Hi, Christy. Hey, Christy. Christy's my bestie. She's got a channel too. You should go and check her out if you haven't checked her out yet. We're trying to get her to 25,000 subscribers. And um, she's amazing. She opens like pretty much every box under the sun. <laughs> she's extremely entertaining. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Once you get going, before you know it, you'll binge watch half her videos, and you'll be like, "Well, well, wait a minute! I just watched two hours worth of videos. <laughs> She's so entertaining." I totally agree. Of course, I, you know, I'm a little biased, but I love her. <laughs> TV wants to know, Yvette, did you sell out of your linen? Did I sell out of my linen? Um, I know that I have linen fabric in the shop right now because the um if you go and look at um the allison glass kaleidoscope 2021 that's linen fabric um the allison glass pulsar is i'm pretty sure that's linen fabric or it's woven that's woven fabric um actually i think the other one is woven too I'm not sure if that's what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? <laughs> Teresa Louise wants to wants me to tell you that she said hi. She didn't know if you knew she'd come on this evening. Hi, Teresa. I did see your name. I think I, I was probably not saying hey anymore at that point but yes i did see you come in thank you so much for coming i love when teresa's here she's such a sweetheart. i know she's so sweet. oh my gosh she's such a sweetheart she has a channel too um she sure go check is. her out she does uh long arm quilting and, and art quilts. yes so go check her out she's she and i think she has a, a live every sunday if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. yep yep just before Tiffany's quilting life, um, Christy B said, "Sorry, not linen, but muslin. You had the muslin. She wanted to know if you still have some oh, of that." I do not. I sold out of muslin. Well, and I might, you know, like I said, once I get, once I downsize everything, I'm sure I will buy more muslin. Um, but right now, um, I'm not. 
So I'm sure I will, but it'll be a little bit before I get more. I And it's the best muslin ever. I don't know if you've bought any before, but it really is great muslin. And Del Marie was pointing out to Linda Parsons it's that it's death that piecing it real is definitely worth the twenty dollars, especially if you want to learn from the beginning. There are several video classes that you can do at your own pace. Absolutely. And Yvette explains from the from from the very beginning, step by step, how to go through the process. And you can stop it, rewind it, repeat it as many times as you need to. And they're always there for you to go back to. That's right. And if there's if if there's something in your mind where you're like, oh, Yvette said something about X, Y, Z. Um, I have this special program on my uh, in the in the membership that if you do a search, it will tell you every single time I've said that exact word and it'll take you exactly to that point in the video. Um, so you can go, you know, if there's one particular thing that you're that you're trying to remember how to do it. So um, there's that added bonus too. Oh, I do have a quick message for um, if you're a Piecing It Real member and you were not at the live on Monday, at, on the Zoom call, um, unfortunately, something happened. I have no idea what, but the session did not get recorded. So if you missed it, you kind of missed it because I don't know what happened. Something happened. It's not there. So I apologize for that. I know that that would have been like, everybody wants to see it. I've been asked so many times. I am really sorry. If I knew what happened, <laughs> I would not repeat that, but I don't know what happened. So, um, yeah. Oh, no. But, but we'll well, you know, it's, it's really a lot of fun. And Sher Sherry Geyer says, do what? <laughs> I didn't know about that feature. Neither did I. Yvette, that's news to me. <laughs> Are you guys talking about the search? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's been there since the beginning. Okay, so here, listen, here's the thing. I am also downsizing the shop so that I can spend a lot more time improving Piecing It Real because while it is great, there are still a lot of things that I can improve. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to make an intro video that will uh, kind of show you around so that you know where everything is. And I'll also obviously have to mention little things like that um, so that, you know, also if you, it'll work on anything. So it'll work on um, if we were talking about something in a Zoom meeting. And you were like, oh my gosh, I got to watch that again. It was hilarious, blah, blah, blah. You can type in a keyword and it'll take you directly to that spot. Uh, and it'll search all the videos on the, on the site. So it's not like you have to go to a specific one. It'll search all the videos. You guys should go try it. because. Awesome. <laughs> and, and Barbara Mediachi, she said, I will need some help getting into the Zoom. I was not able to get into the live on Monday. Barbara, you have to log into your Piecing It Real account, I believe. Yeah, and I think the only... Is that right? Yes. So when you log into your Piecing Your Real account and you go to... Well, I, in the in the email, I will always give you the link to take you directly to the spot in your Piecing It Real account that you will click on that. And then inside Piecing It Real, you will click on... Uh, it'll say, like, click here to go into the meeting. Um, the only requirement, I think, is that you have a Zoom account. It is very easy to sign up for a Zoom account. It is absolutely free. I think all it asks you for is like your name and your email address. I'm pretty sure that's all it asks you for. And it just means that I'm making sure that everybody that's coming in is legit, okay? It's to protect you, it's to protect all of us. Um, but once you do that, you should be able to just click on that link and it'll take you straight into the meeting. Right, Nita? That's how that works? That's 
what happens. Okay, because I, you know, obviously I'm, I'm, look, I'm getting in from a different spot. So for you guys, that's all you have to do. Once you have an account, yeah. you should take it directly in. <laughs> yeah, if you go, if like I said, if you log into your piecing it real and you go to the Zoom meetings, you'll see the link. It'll take you straight to it. And Denise Sunquist says she she was not able to watch it live. She was not able to log in live, and she's kind of bummed that she doesn't get to watch it oh, secondhand. I know, I know. I'm bummed too. I feel so bad because I know it was that was our first that was our first live Zoom where we were going to be going together, and we had a such a great time. I am so sorry, guys. It's I, I don't know what happened. I, I wish I did. Mary Jane Elliger says she's glad to know about the search feature. So am I. I agree. I'm right there with you. I, 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 I'm going, yeah, we can definitely do that. Awesome. So everybody go try it out. <laughs> After this, not now. <laughs> And I just want to say that for all of those who are on live tonight, sending out prayers for those who've been sick or who have 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 come up sick recently. I, I wish everyone good health and and yes, hope that that you get better very quickly. I do too. And begin recovering. Yeah, yeah. Ditto. What she said. <laughs> exactly. And Del Marie says Monday was so much fun. However, the next one in two weeks will be fun too. I agree. I'm looking forward to it. And I am I listen, I went back to the ones that I have scheduled and I'm like looking everywhere, going, I know I turned on record. I know I did. And it I know that I had it on for this past Monday. So I don't know what in the world happened. But anyway, I double checked and it all says that it's set to record. So ugh, it's so annoying. <laughs> Shelly Clark says Zoom is crazy. She tried to record and wasn't able to pull it back up later. Yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes you have these programs and unfortunately they're just programs and they glitch occasionally and we just sort of Okay, well, it glitched and we move on. Yeah. Yeah, I I think one other time it didn't record, but it wasn't such a, you know, I didn't have so many people asking me about it that time. And, you know, I don't know what happened. But we're going to move forward and next time I'm going to make sure it's recording for sure. Right. I agree, Denise. Everyone is extra stressed. I mean, we, we're, we're kind of being inundated with quite a few numbers, and let's just hope that all starts to calm down soon. Hello. Hello. The purple wall. That's Kay, right? Hey, yes, that's Kay. Hi, Kay. Yeah. I, I, I'm not, look, I have, I, I have, I have 30 new students all running around in my head and I can never really remember everybody all the time. So I try. You're doing I a try. Great, girl, you're doing a great job. Don't even get hard on yourself. You're doing a great, great job. You did remember Kay. You just said it. Right. I was just like, I, I, sometimes I remember, and I know that quilting in Romania is Elena. Right. So I, I, I think so. Oh yes, yes, definitely Elena. Because now I'm remembering. I, you know, it's like I have to put. Sometimes I have to put like these things in my head that make that help me to remember. And Elena is the one who has her own shop, and she's going to be selling patterns, and she sells a whole bunch of stuff in her shop. And I showed you guys all her stuff. That's Elena. Yes, absolutely. I spelled her name wrong in the video. That's her. <laughs> Denise, I, I understand. My husband has been working overtime hours for the past year and a half now. 
I I don't I don't even know if we actually get a chance to see each other. The it the workload is just crazy, and I feel for those people who work in the hospitals. I haven't seen my son in over a year. My oldest he works at at, at a hospital, and I just I never get to see him. He says he doesn't want to to come close to me, but he's just so tired all the time. Yeah. He says he goes to work, he comes home and he sleeps. Oh, what a life we're leading right now. Right. All right, Kathy. Kathy Darling is going to check out. Have to get up early. Happy chat and so. See you next week. Hopefully. Get a good night's rest. Okay, Meta and Teresa, I'm going to leave you guys to it for just a second. I'll be right back. Mother Nature is calling. <laughs> Very loudly at the moment. I think it's probably because I had too much tea at dinner. Yeah. We need to keep hydrated. I will. Let me pop over to the chat, see what everybody's saying. Oh, Sherry says, the colors are so vibrant. I love them. Me too. It's Libs Elliot. It is a uh, phosphor that I'm using. And let's see. Oh, Diane's off to the doctors. Okay, Diane, we'll see you hopefully in a couple a couple of uh, next week. I keep thinking it's Monday. It's not. This is Wednesday. It's every week. <laughs> um Okay, they're asking about plans for the block of the month. Um, so the plan that I have right now, and um, this was suggested by one of the members, so I'm very excited about that. And um, also to just let you guys know that I'm always open to suggestions because this block of the month that we are going to be doing is uh member suggestion so thank you jill jill uh is the one who suggested it i don't know if she's here tonight um so what what i'm gonna do is every month i'm going to have a new block they are going to be pr like very simple blocks so if you are um you know just um what am i thinking about um like a oh you guys I, I my memory goes to I have the word it's right here um like a be, beginner advanced beginner I don't know I don't even remember the, the the terminology right now but you can pretty much be a beginner or close to a beginner and be able to do this. Um, I'm keeping it very simple so that we can get the block done in the month and we'll do it over the couple of weeks that we have uh, for Zoom in the month. I have the January block already given to you guys. We started it just this past Monday. We work on it together on Zoom. I uh, Thank you, Netta, confident beginner. That's what I meant. <laughs> Um, so, um, we'll basically work on them over a couple of the zoom calls and for each month we'll have one. Y'all, I feel like I can't even get my thoughts together. So, <laughs> um, there are going to be two sizes each month. There will be a six inch size and a 12 inch size. You can do the six or you can do the 12 or you can do them both. Uh, I'm going to have one a new block every month. And then I'm going to put together um, all the blocks. I'm going to kind of arrange them in a certain way uh, toward the end of the year when we have them all ready. And you can either put them all together in the way that I suggest, or you can put them together in your own way, whatever is best for you. 
You can make extra blocks. You can take out the ones that you don't like so much. I mean, whatever you want. At the end of the day, it's going to be your quilt. Um, and I think most of us are doing uh, both sizes, so it's going to be great. I, you know, we started, let me show you. Um, here are the ones that I finished on Monday. So I am using, uh, for the, I'm doing, this is just the large one. I haven't done the small ones yet. And this is, let me put the chat down so that I can see what I'm doing here. Boop, where am I? Oh, there it is. Um, okay, so this is the first one and the second one. I have a couple of them done. One of them is kind of in the in the process of being done. And this is just, they're going to go together. It doesn't go together like that. I can't see which way it's going. But there, there's going to be four of these, and they're going to go together um, and make a circle of flying geese. And these, this is the block that we're doing for January. Uh, so right now I have uh, January, February, and March completed. I'm only giving y'all one month at a time, so you have to wait. Um, but that's basically what the block of the month is going to be. And we're going to end up with okay. a lovely quilt. So uh, Donna wanted to know, is it going to be on Piecing It Real? It's only on Piecing It Real, yes. So you have to be a member in order to participate. And Gia wants to know, are the blocks going to be geometric or critters or? Um, mainly geometric. There will be some, um, maybe like, I mean, I don't know, because like I said, I've only got January, February, March right now. But I'm thinking if I can put together a simple like flower or, because um, I'm trying to keep it simple so that we can, uh, be able to finish it in the month without being uh, very stressful. And, um, and yeah, so that's how we're going to work on it. And uh, I could see a few people asking, and yes, it is exclusively piecing it real. So you do need to be a member to, to participate. Yes. Uh, the block of the month is free inside of piecing it real. So all you'll need to do is pay $20 a month. And if you do that, you will get much more than just the block. You have to put a whole lot of stuff inside. It is something that, you know, by, after it's all over, you know, maybe like next year, it'll be something that I can put in my shop that will be uh, like a, a digital download. But for this year, it is strictly piecing it real. Just like the piecing it real blocks, you usually just sell the, the, you wait six months or so before you sell any of the blocks that are in piecing it real? At least, yes. At least six months before any of those patterns are up for sale. Yeah. And pretty much like if I'm selling it in the shop, you're getting mm -hmm. for free in piecing it real. So either way, it's a great benefit. And Kathleen Thorat wants to know, are there a lot of exclusive patterns in piecing it real? Um, yeah. I mean, what would you... a pretty good number, I'd say. I mean, there's quite a few. Yeah. There's some really good ones, too. <laughs> like, there's quite a bit of stuff that I'm not selling anywhere else. It's just in piecing it real. So, yes. They're really awesome. I'm not going to lie. I really like them. Oh my gosh, I'm still like I know I'm like sitting here and toot my own horn, but I'm I'm still in love with my haunted house. Um <laughs> I mean there's just a bunch of stuff the that... house. I like the little I like the fairy house. That oh, one I'm in love with. The fairy mushroom house. That's a cute one too. <laughs> oh my god. I just think it's so cute. Yeah. It is so cute. <laughs> that one in the narwhal. Is yeah. it a narwhal? It is a narwhal, yes. I was like, is that isn't that what you call it? A nar? It's a, it's a narwhal. Yep, and I, I thought didn't, it narwhal the name is, wrong. Did you know that a narwhal was a real thing? Yes, yes, I did. I had no idea. Christy, my bestie, told me that. I had no idea. 
I thought it was like the mermaid, you know? That cracks me up because my, my coworker at work, he, he said, no, -uh, those aren't a real thing. And I said, just, I, I had to stop him and say, EJ, narwhals are a real thing. Just like knitting with two knitting needles is a real thing. And he started laughing and had to go Google because <laughs> when I first met him, he did not think that people actually knitted cloth or knitted items with two needles. <laughs> he didn't think he thought it was fake. He thought it was just something you saw on cartoons, that it wasn't something that really happened. Oh, my goodness. So he had to go Google and find out about a narwhal. And he's like, that's a real thing. I can't believe that's a real thing. I can't believe it either. So I say there's still hope for Nessie. I don't know. <laughs> Look, we've only mapped out 5% of the ocean floor. So please, there's got to be something out there we have missed. Right? I'm you see how much we have on the earth from the tail? <laughs> there's got to be something we missed. I think so. I think it's possible. <laughs> Nancy LaVenture wants to know, um, how many pages <laughs> is the last okay, one that, I'm sorry, how many pages is the last project to print? Um, she hasn't been keeping up because her printer isn't working. Okay, um, Nancy, I'm going to talk to you about this after the live. I, I really like I really like this this um, color. Are you using art gallery fabrics for this one, Yvette? Oh, no, this is uh, phosphor, Libs Elliot. Libs Elliot. Yep. Look, I put phosphor in my cart six times, I'm taking it back out again. It's gorgeous. I know, but what am I going to do with it? It's just so pretty. Well, but just look I don't know what to do with it. What was that? <laughs> I don't know what to, I don't know what project to make with it. I I I don't want to just buy it for the sake of buying it. I got to have a project in mind. Okay, well it's a solid basically, so you can use it like in anything FPP. <laughs> Sherry says, right? Isn't it great? She says, stop taking it out of your cart. <laughs> 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 like spend my whole year's budget on phosphor because it's so pretty i love the colors though they're just gorgeous just get like two like one or two get it to your house and look at it you will know just by looking at one or two in person if it's something that you think that you would really like i, I mean i know you like it but um you know what i mean like then you can Kind of I'd be like, hey, look, I, I have so many projects. I, I, I don't know what it is. I like the, the foundation paper piecing projects, but I also like, I don't know, is it Elizabeth Hartman yes. that does the, the small piecing? I love her quilts. I love the tiny piecing. I don't even know why, but I do. I just think it's crazy. Okay, Elizabeth Hartman is not tiny piecing. It must be someone else. Is it... Uh... Because she has, she's traditional piecing pretty much. Yes, but she uses some of her little pieces. Some of, okay, so she's the one who did the fancy forest. Okay, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you realize how many pieces go into one owl yeah, block? I, I, well, I love that because that's how detailed she gets. I love that. Yes. Okay. I, and they're all these tiny pieces. When I say tiny, you are putting together a one inch block for some of those. Wow. I just, I just, I don't know. I love it. They're so, and you have to be pretty, you have to be pretty good at putting things together because there's no FPP to get your, your, your points right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Clark wants to know if there's a fat quarter bundle of phosphorus. Uh, no, they only they only sell it in yardage. 
So you'd have to buy it at a half a half yard chunks. But look, half a yard, look at what you could do with that. I could take that and, and just, you know, really go to town on I saw the dinosaurs quilt by Elizabeth Hartman, the little dinosaurs, and I thought, Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> I, I was like, why did you do it? I have I don't have any her patterns. Yeah, I, I haven't had time to do any yet, but I have like all her patterns. I love them. Someday, do you have the swans? <laughs> do you have the swans? Um, do I have the swans? There's one that has swans. I, They're I just have swans. so many of them. I must have it, or if I don't, then that's something I have to go get. That one is my quilt. That will be mine. It will be strictly mine. I will not let anybody touch it once I get it done. It's my quilt. You, you are the swan girl, I know. Hold on, where did I put all of my patterns? I have, okay, my Judy Niemeyer's all down there. I don't have a light. Right, I well, it would have helped. Shelly, a, a quarter bundle would have helped. But, you know, I usually go for the half yards. I kind of pick and choose which ones I like. I take things in. I put things out, you know. I put things in the basket. I take things out of the basket. I hem my ha. I decide, do I want to do this one? Do I want to do that one? And before you know it, you know, a couple hundred dollars later, I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> I know. You know what? I'm the same way. Like I can't, I, I'll do fat quarters, but I really love half yards because I feel like I can really do something with it. You know, definitely. I don't have the swans. I'll get it. You don't have to. I already have it. No, I know, but I want it. <laughs> I loved the swans. I saw that. And I was like, Oh no. Mm, nah. It went right, and I I couldn't resist it. I don't even remember what I paid for it. I didn't care. Yeah, I, I really care about. So I got that. I saw the swans, and I said, "Yep, that's me." <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Nancy Gus. There's Nancy Gus. Nancy Gus. We got all the best Nancys here. I know quite a few. <laughs> I got three new students, Jack, Jackie, and Vicky. Wow. Jack and Jackie are husband and wife, and Vicky is Jackie's sister. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, I thought it was kind <laughs> of interesting. Family. <laughs> Hi, Dale. <laughs> Which means you showed up in the video. <laughs> Are you guys able to see Jelly Bean? Oh no, he's off the camera. We can, I can see him just a little bit by the coffee cup. Oh. Shelly says, the word for the year is UFO. I have a lot of kits to sew. Already broke my no-buy rule by getting a mystery box from Yvette. Justified it as a purchase with Christmas money. Absolutely. <laughs> I was right there with you. I kept saying, no, I'm not going to do it. Mm, no, I'm not going to do it. Mm, <laughs> no, not going to do it. And then... I was like, no, I got to do it. <laughs> I haven't bought one in a while, so let me just get one. And it did not disappoint. I promise you it did not disappoint. Well, you know, those were I was quite that, happy. That was, those were the good ones because it was like all the stuff off my shelves. So everything that everybody I saw, and I love everything behind you. You know, that's what was in there. So. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been going, uh, we need to go shopping in Yvette's shelves. <laughs> Oh, she, Shelly says she heard you, Dale. She didn't. She didn't see you. She heard you. You know, Heather. I have no idea if anyone's made it past level four yet, but I'm sure as time goes on, this bot will will be moving us up the chain. That's hilarious. <laughs> and I fully understand about the whole UFO thing. 
I, I'm telling you, I got UFOs I got to finish. I have two that I need to get done in the next couple of weeks. And I'm kind of excited because I, once I get them, once I get the tops done, I, I have the new, the new baby lock. I got the new jazz so I can, I can, I can quilt them really easily, much easier than I could before. Yes. This new machine over there. So lucky. I know. I feel so, I was so excited. You have no idea. <laughs> I think I have some idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry says she's still on level four. <laughs> I don't think I'm on level four. Well, you're talking. You're not typing. Right? It's easier to talk than it is to type. I try to type. <laughs> the bad part is, is that, you know, I'm sitting, I'm sitting with this laptop on a little TV tray, you know? Right. A little wooden TV tray. <laughs> And try to get it in here. <laughs> now, Marie says, I have so many pre pre planned projects, but I need to get them uh, prioritized. They will last me months. LOL. I hear you, Del Marie. I hear you. I have, look, uh, I guarantee there are projects that I pre pre plan, and there are at least three cotton cut quilt tops. That are currently in the shed, connex, whatever. That I can't, excuse me, I can't get to. Right. That need to be long armed. I, I already have one of them is is the one that that I did for myself, and I have already commissioned someone. I've already set it up for for um, Tiffany to to custom quilt it for me. Oh, nice. I know. Right, I'm so I'm kind of excited, but I can't get to it. I, I just need to get that stuff out of my the the shed thing. Yeah, things happen, you know. It just kind of out of your control. I have so many things that are <laughs> interesting. It's funny. Heather Heather Grant says she needs two things before she can finish the two quilts she needs to finish to quilt. First thing, the kids need to go back to school. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and my floor needs to be mopped. I did that the other day. <laughs> I can honestly say that we I did I did that, but that's because I I had a dog vomit on the floor, so I had to clean it up. Jelly Bean vomited on my toilet the other morning. Ugh. He like he like jumped up on top. I think he ate too fast, and he jumped up on top of the toilet, and then uh, proceeded to like vomit right over the side. It went all the way down the toilet and all over the floor. I was like, "Are you kidding me right now?" <laughs> I was like, "How can what? one little kitty cat produce so much stuff all over the place?" <laughs> uh oh. Uh, uh. Uh, one little kitty cat can't produce nearly as much as one giant Great Pyrenees dog can. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Expect it she, out of that. <laughs> she, uh, here's the thing. We had failed. I had all of us failed to notice that the water bucket was empty. So we filled it and she went and guzzle gutted more than half the bowl and then made herself sick by drinking so much water and promptly vomited the water and and the food that she had eaten all over the kitchen floor. Right. At least it was in the kitchen. Yeah, I mean, it, this was, it was in the bathroom, you know, and it didn't, he only vomited a little small amount on one of the rugs. So I was able to just wipe that up. But, um, so thankfully it was, you know, in the bathroom. It was min minimal. Yeah, I was I was very grateful that it was in the kitchen because it meant that it that wasn't as difficult to get it cleaned up. You know, just clean it up, mop the floors. We cleaned it up that that night, got it all cleaned up and and mop, you know, wipe down the floors or anything. But the very next day, it was like, okay, let me get a scrub brush and scrub the floor because I just don't need it to smell like dark vomit. Well, I have to tell you, you know, I I'm really not that bad. Um, with like cleaning up vomit or, you know, whatever. I'm really not. It's, it's, I think the thing is, is when you do it right away and it's still warm, that's what gets me. 
it has nothing to do with anything else. It's just, I don't know, like, it just fresh came out of the body or something like that. I do not know. No. <laughs> Good night. Uh, Sherry's got to go. She says it's time for her to go. Hi, and... Paula Hooping Garner says that it's time for her bed too. So good night, ladies. Good night. Heather, Heather Grintz was saying three kids equals millions of crumbs and lots of stuff. Oh, honey, I, I, I understand the kids thing. Try seven kids, three dogs, two birds, and four cats. <laughs> She's got a menagerie over there. <laughs> Your floor is never clean at that rate. It, you feel like you just, it's like laundry, you know, you wash the laundry and as soon as you wash the laundry, there's two more loads. All it takes is for them to get into their pajamas and you've got two more loads of clothes. Yep. Four if you count the showers. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it's a never ending job. Oh, Susan says, Susan, uh, Susan, I think it's stuck, says she has a great Pyrenees as well. I agree. They are such an amazing breed. And hers is named Sasha. Mine are, mine are technically, I have two. They're technically, their names on their, on their papers is that one is Avalanche and the other one is Blizzard. But we don't call them Avalanche and Blizzard. We call them Ava and Lizzie. And I had to go with those because my boys wouldn't let me name them Ava and Shaja. <laughs> they were not having it. But I thought it would have been cute to have Ava and Shaja. It would have. <laughs> but I like Ava and Izzy too. They're both good. Yeah, Lizzie is the party girl. She's definitely the blizzard. She's all over the place, barks at everything. Ava's very quiet, but she's very steadfast. When I work nights, she'll stay outside and wait by the, by the gate. Just lay there by the gate till I come home, and then she'll come in, and she'll be perfectly happy to lay down by the door. She's like, okay, all my people are inside. I'm good to go. Aw. She's so sweet. <laughs> and they're so gentle. Thank you, Susan. I think I think Sasha's a good name for a Pyrenees. They're just so sweet and so gentle and so I don't know. They're they're my fluffy floofers. I love them. They're just so cuddly. Judy L. That she would like a, a, a robot vacuum. I would too, but the, none of them work well with dogs that shed as much as mine. So I just, I, I keep dreaming. Maybe one day I'll get one and put it in the sewing room because no animals are allowed in the sewing room. Hopefully we'll get that going eventually before 2023 comes around. <laughs> Susan, you are absolutely right. They are wonderful protectors. They will they will definitely keep animals and, and other things away from the house. Uh, and we live out in the woods and we live where, where our house is, is actually across from a very wooded area that is a land trust. So we'll never have anything but the woods there. And um, <laughs> we have bears and we have panthers and we have, you know, hawks and we we have a lot of prey animals. We have some deer, but we have a lot of animals that come into the into our into our yard until they meet the girls and then they don't come in the yard. Hello, oh, Robbie. Uh, mine, mine is almost like that. But he's he's he goes to work. He goes to work. He comes home. He he eats dinner. He sits down and maybe watches a little TV or a little video on his phone, and then poof, he's gone off to bed, and I never see him. But I still have two two children still left at home. Not that they're children. 
<laughs> Foost is going to have a great time with Ava and Lizzie. They're going to look at him and think, okay, another little dog. Huh, and walk away. <laughs> I think Foos, I think Foost and Layla are the ones that are going to have a great time. Wait till you get the two of those together. We'll never be able to be sitting down. They'll be like, bark, bark, let us out. <laughs> Don, oh, okay. Don Denny wants to know, how is your new iron working out? Um, I wish it were hotter, but it works fine. So is, is that the Rowenta or is it? Yes, it's a Rowenta. I think my Rowenta doesn't get as hot as I'd like it to either. Well, this one, the mini one, it um, it's only a thousand watts, and like my other Rowenta is 1750, but it's the it's you know full size. This is just a mini one, and so you couldn't get it hotter than a thousand watts. And when you're used to 1750, I mean that's almost double the hotness. <laughs> so. Um, you know, it's it's just, I mean, it works fine. It irons. It does what it's supposed to do. It's just not as hot as my other one, so. My, my Rowenta is like 1,700. Okay, so Deborah Cody came in. She says, I'm late getting here. Hello. Hello Deborah. doesn't matter if you're late, you're here, you're here now. Wait, just join in and we'll have fun. Shelly S. says, I don't mean to be a pest, but what dies for the AccuQuilt would be good to start out with for PIR. For oh. piecing it. Um, I wouldn't even know how to answer that, to be honest. I'd never really... I've only just started trying to figure out different ways to use my AccuQuilt for foundation paper piecing. So it that's something that's very new to me. Um, and... For the most part, it I mean, really, it depends on the kinds of designs that you are doing, the kinds of patterns that you are putting together. I mean, if you're um, putting together things like, let's say I'm designing like the peep, right? So it's like a little bunny. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to come up with something like that. If you're, if you're making something that's geometrical, where it has like a lot of pieces that are either a uh, square or rectangle or triangles, then yes, you can. Then all you'll have to do, and really that's that's going to be, it's going to depend on what size the quilt is. So if that's something that you want to do, the best thing uh, to me is to start accumulating the cubes because the cubes will start with, um, a set, you know, a certain set of um, um, pieces, you know, like squares, rectangles, triangles, and then you can add on different sizes of other triangles or um, like, like other pieces if you want to do that. But if you just have the basic cube, you're going to get um, like, you'll definitely have like a square a rectangle and probably a triangle in there and the cubes come in all different sizes so then that way you have all of the sizes that's the best advice I could give um, but it, like I said it's gonna depend on the kind of patterns that you like to put together with FPP I personally tend to do more like um, if you go and look at Liliella stitchery per the because the, uh, Nita and I was just talking about this. So she's got a bat. She's got butterflies. She's got um, like a skull. She's got, I mean, she's got like all these different things. So when you're going to be put together, be when you're going to be putting together an FPP like that, then you're talking about pieces that you're going to want to cut them like as you go. And you're going to be just randomly cutting off your fabric. Yeah, I wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to like run it through um, a die. Yeah, you wouldn't it's, go, like run it through a die and go, oh, I can just cut a whole bunch of these and do it. No, it's, I mean, really, you need to just, you're going to just be cutting pieces off of fabric randomly. So, 
It's not a, a really easy question. <laughs> and, you know, it just depends on what you're going to work on, basically. Shelly Clark has a really good um, suggestion. She says, since FPP is oversized pieces, maybe the strip dies would be helpful. I agree. Yeah. That that would be. I find that, well, I found that I made the 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 last piecing it real block, the January block, the, the little six inch size, I was able to use my, um, just my, my scraps that I had left over from the larger one. Yeah. And really, I mean, if you're, I would get a strip anyway, because you'll be, you can use that every single time you make a, a binding. So I have, uh, two different sizes in strips. Well, I have three, but two that I use for binding. I have the two and a quarter and the two and a half, and it makes very short work of uh, binding. And the cut is always straight. So um, anytime I can use my AccuQuilt, I do. So yeah. <laughs> I'm. I I'm Larry says Larry says that she enjoys working with Pyrenees. They are great dogs. I'm glad to hear somebody say that because my groomer, she's absolutely wonderful. My groomer doesn't charge me a lot, but I I mean Pyrenees, they have a ten, they have a double coat, so they shed a lot and they have extra dew claws, so there's a, at least one extra toe to to trim, one extra claw to trim on each foot. And they they're 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 big. They're big. You cannot put a Pyrenees in your tub. It's not going to work. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I tried. It doesn't work. In the summertime, we get a paddling pool and, and douse them that way. And usually they like to get into the swimming pool. We have a big above ground pool. They like to get into the pool. Oh, Nancy Gus says her next die will be the one and a half inch strip for borders. Oh, I hear that. That would be really good for one and a half. It would be great for sashing too, right? Yeah. I mean, that would make it that so one. much quicker. Yeah, I have that one. That's a good one. <laughs> Laurie says that, that it's a lot of work, but so satisfying when you are done. She's talking about grooming the Pyrenees, oh. right? They're so soft and fluffy and white and pretty. You just, I mean, you just can't resist them. Ava looks like a, she looks like a little mini polar bear. <laughs> Foost loves the pool a little too much. Some dogs do. Some dogs do. Foost is so cute. He's adorable. He is. I bought him a little jacket. Did Netta show you? No, she didn't. It's a little jacket so he could go outside and pee. Because he's got all the snow. Yep. Susan O'Neill Smith, uh, we had, she says she that we adopted our pup from a great Pyrenees rescue group. Our two, we we actually um, we got them from a breeder. The breeder was was going to take these two to the pound because they had specific problems. One of them was so terrified of humans that she had to be tranquilized to oh. get her in the car to bring to us. And the other one was really bad about killing chickens. She had learned to kill chickens, and so they didn't. And since she was bred on a farm, that was not something they could do. And the, the breeder asked me if I was willing to take them, and I said I would take them. God bless you, girly. And my, uh, Susan O'Neill says hers, hers uh, but we did her DNA, and she's only 4% Great Pyrenees. Uh, mine, are, mine are 100%. They're pure Pyrenees. Oh my gosh, when we took him to the vet to get spayed, we took him to a new vet, and I thought the vet was going to have a heart attack. 
that? Why is that? He just could not believe that he was actually in his lifetime getting to see two great Pyrenees dogs. He was just like, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. He, he, I mean, he literally, I, I think he almost had a heart attack. Well, thank goodness you didn't kill the vet. Del Marie, I have I have a friend, my 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 dearest oldest friend, her nephew likes to knit and he also likes to spin his own fibers. So he he's asked me to send the fur to them the, from the girls. He wants me to send him their fur so he can spin it into yarn. And Linda Parsons says she's she's planning on getting an Accu quilt, Accu quilt one of these days or months. I know I'll be glad to get one. Netta says it's on her wish list. Well, if any of you guys are making a purchase with Accu quilt, um, don't forget about her affiliate link. Yes, I ha I'm an affiliate for them, and it would certainly help me out if you used my link. Uh, doesn't cost you any more, doesn't, or anything like that. I just get a small commission for referring you. That's all. Nancy Guess, uh, my girls weigh in it at, um, Lizzie is, is usually around 125, 135, and Ava is between 145 and 158. Oh my goodness! Emily is here. Says she wants. She says she wants a Great Pyrenees, but her husband is allergic to every animal. Uh, I did not want the Great Pyrenees originally. My animal of choice would have been a corgi, but these two were a rescue, and we had lost my corgi. I had a a, a Pembroke Welsh corgi. We lost her the year before, and so I was. I was ready to have another dog at the time, and these were in need of a good home. That's amazing. Y'all needed each other. <laughs> well, Lizzie is definitely my husband's dog. She was the one that had to be tranquilized. Now she's the party girl. <laughs> she does at everything. I mean, absolutely everything. <laughs> She has. She does this thing where she likes to bark so that I will let her outside. She knows if she makes noise, somebody will let her out because she wants to go out and sniff around. Susan Stuck, I absolutely agree with you. All of the animals I have now, right now, are all rescues. Even our, we have a, a long-haired miniature double dapple dachshund. Wow, that's a mouthful. Yeah, but she is, uh, she's a rescue. We, um, an elderly lady got her as a present from her niece or someone because they, you know, they wanted her to have a lap dog. And then the lady had a stroke. It was, uh, I think, her third stroke, and she couldn't keep the dog anymore. And so she went, she was going to go to the pound because nobody, none of the family wanted her. And her caregiver at the time um, said, well, I'll see if I can find somebody. And she happened to be one of the ladies in my painting group, and she was asking around. And I said, sure, we'll, we'll take her. So we got her when she was a about nine months old she was probably about nine months old and my middle son has pretty much taken over that dog that's that's his princess <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think rescuing dogs is better than you know than than just going there's so many puppy mill puppies out there if you go to the pet store it inevitably if you go to the pet store you're getting a puppy mill puppy 
most of the time those puppies have lots of problems and and what have you and yes they do need homes but the more we purchase from puppy mills the more often they come around i get very frustrated when i hear people around me they're like oh yeah they're going to go and they're going to get a german shepherd or they're going to get a blue uh, a blue tick hound or something they're going to breed those dogs and make a thousand dollars off the dog and i'm like well yeah you know you hear this you hear that breeders get this amount of money but we're talking about breeders who, who get that kind of money have spent a lifetime making sure that their dogs are 100% purebred, that they are not bred to anyone, any, any of their sires or dams relatives too closely. They are free of, uh, you know, as healthy as they can possibly be and free of parasites and such. It's, it, it, there's a lot of work that goes into it and you're not going to find somebody who's going to buy a dog that doesn't have papers for that kind of money. So. And Gia says, who multi-poos are hyperallergenic? Yep, because they're, they're usually dogs that have hair and not fur. Are, are, are much better for allergies, which is why the Maltese, the Shih Tzu, the Poodles, those that their hair has to be cut on a regular basis, those are the kinds of dogs that are better for allergies. And they're very, very pretty dogs. Teresa says hers are both, her, Willa and Annie are both rescue dogs. I love rescue dogs. And there's, I mean, they're the best. And everybody is just over the moon about these colors you've chosen, Yvette. <laughs> Thank you. I'm hoping it's going to look really good when it's all done. I'm very excited. I love them myself. We were talking about putting those in and taking them out of my basket. <laughs> and the more I see you do that, the more I think, mm -hmm, I definitely need to probably put those back in. Basket. <laughs> I don't blame you. They're really gorgeous. Okay, Yvette, I'm going to give you a five-minute warning. Oh, we're at five minutes? Okay. Yeah, Meta just gave me a warning. <laughs> All right, I will put it away. This is so I'll show you what I got so far tonight. There you go. That's what I got. And again, this is for this is part of the coral reef. Um, oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. Um, Judy Niemeyer quilt. So is this the one you're doing in the class? Yes, this is the one that I'm doing in the class. Since I couldn't find the pieces that I was working on on the moon catcher, um, I went ahead and just did some of these so that you could still, you know, watch me sew are something. <laughs> yeah. It's, I have to think really the other one. I really am loving the oval elements that you're using in the other quilt. Yes. So I do have that piece, or one of them. Um, these are the pieces on Mooncatcher that I have done. And this is the oval elements up here and then the art gallery solids. So that's what I I'm just on. I love that. Yeah. Mm. And the pieces that I've been working on, which is something different, I can't even find the darn things, but they are here somewhere. I mean, I will find them. Um, so, uh, yeah. Very exciting. Let me get back to over here. And there. And there wants to know what stitch length you're using. I'm sorry, what, which, which what? Diana Vieira wants to know what stitch length you are using. Um, okay, so these patterns are, um, when you get them, they're newsprint. So it's better not to go too small because it will uh perforate so much that they'll it'll just fall apart so i'm using about a 1.6 or a 1.8 i'm using 1.6 right now but if i get to a point where there's like a lot of stitching in one area then i'll go up to 1.8 just to keep the newsprint a little more stable
I don't, if I'm using newsprint, I don't go any, I don't go any, any shorter than 2.0. But if I'm using copy paper, I go down to 1.6. Oh, if I'm using copy paper, I go down to 1.2. But I liked it to tear off very easily. So that's why I do that. Well, I got, I, I, I bought a pair of the tweezers from your shop and those work out really well. Yes, I love those tweezers. Those tweezers are awesome, are they not? I'm like, oh, you nah. can just get that. Paper. And, and you know, you know, the one time you tear and it has that little tiny bit right there that didn't quite pull away. Those tweezers are like. It gets right oh. there. Yeah. No, I guarantee you they're not in a mystery box. I believe me, everything that went into mystery boxes, I touched every single thing. I didn't just willy nilly throw stuff in there. I guarantee you. <laughs> um, now, I don't have any of the tweezers in my shop right now. I do have an order out for them, but they're on back order. And they're on so much of a back order that I don't even know when they're coming in. They don't even have a expected date on them. So I don't know. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I got mine when I did. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't, I don't know when they'll get anymore. I have no idea. No idea. Nancy Gus said she found newsprint on Amazon Amazon for nine eighty five for a five hundred sheet ream. Yeah, I have to tell you guys. I mean, and everything is very subjective. I mean, some people like certain things and some people don't, and that's fine. Um, I personally do not really like newsprint. Uh, it's not my paper of choice. It's way too flimsy as far as I'm concerned. Um, but that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Denise says I can't she says she can't believe she made it for a whole Wednesday night live. And Kim Hartman wants to know if you still have the Kai scissors. No, they sold out. Okay guys, so it is ten o'clock and um I am going to go and eat some dinner. I think I might have, I had buffalo wings last night. I think I might have them again. They were really good and I'm kind of hungry. And uh, yeah, I'm really hungry. So I hope you guys had a good time watching me sew up some FPP tonight. And I will see you guys next week. Next week? Yes. Next Wednesday. <laughs> Everybody, before you leave, don't forget to give her, give, Yvette, a thumbs up. It really does help. It really does. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Nita, for helping me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Bye.